So before we move on to talking about comments, I thought it might be a good idea to discuss a few of the other modules that are being used out there for slideshows and for adding functionality to the view slideshow module. So the first one here is dynamic display block, that's project slash DD block. This provides output that's very similar to what we created using view slideshow, where there's a pager with some previews of what it is that you'd see in the larger area, and then a larger area with an image in it. Now I've played with this module a bit, and what people end up saying about it is that it's a bit less flexible than view slideshow, and it's a little harder to work with. There's more sort of ambiguous configuration associated with it. But just in case you wanted to give it a shot just to see what's out there, this is one option. I'm gonna hop on over to the next tab here, which is for view slideshow configurable controls. So that's project slash VSCC on drupal.org. And this supplies some additional styles for the controls that we add to a view slideshow. For example, we can choose several button skins, including images, black and white icons, and that's pretty cool. In our particular use case for this site that we've been building, we would have had to have overridden these anyway because we had some specific images we wanted to use. But this also allows you to hide the pause or zoom link. We had to hide that via CSS, so this provides kind of a nice way of doing that right in line with the other configuration. I'm gonna jump down. It looks like this is being used on 1200 sites about. Okay, I'm gonna hop over to another tab, view slideshow extra. Now I tried pretty hard to get this to work and couldn't quite. I think there were a couple of bugs with the version I was using, but the idea of it is kind of cool. If you look at an example, this slideshow here provides one. As it transitions from one slide to another, you can see that the image changes in the background but then the overlay changes separately. It kind of fades in after the image comes in. So there's two different layers to the slideshow object there, which is kind of nice. So this might be one you wanna look at for some additional effects there. I'll scroll down to the bottom, and it looks like this is being used on around 5,000 sites. I'm gonna jump over to another tab here. So we also have view slideshow J carousel. This is at project slash views underscore slideshow underscore J carousel. This leverages the jcarousel jQuery plugin, which allows you to create a list of content and scroll through it within a narrow box. So as content is scrolled, it slides over nicely to display some additional items off to the side. If we take a look at the jcarousel module, which is at project slash jcarousel, you can kind of see an example here. We have some thumbnail images, and if we click the right arrow, then these will slide over and we'll get to see the next thumbnails. It even has options to allow you to wrap around. So if you have six items here and you keep clicking right, it'll keep going because it will go back to the first thumbnails and loop from there. So the idea behind the View Slideshow J Carousel module is that it uses this tool in order to create the previews. So we could, for example, fit 50 different thumbnails underneath our slideshow in a small space and have it just scroll as the slideshow moves through. There's some pretty cool effects involved and it's a nice tool. View Slideshow Carousel looks like it's being used on about 3,000 sites. And J Carousel, which is actually separate from the View Slideshow module and really isn't associated with a slideshow at all, but gives you a tool that can be used in a very similar way. This one has over 42,000 users. Okay, I'm gonna close these out and exit out of the overlay.